Okay, that takes us on to our next top story, or rather trending story of today, where Femi Falana SAN has come out to state that restructuring Nigeria cannot guarantee unity and political stability. What's your take on that? In government, we were taught different systems of government. You have the federal system. And what is the very essence of the federal system of government? People own and control their resources, manage these resources in the interest of the people. But in Nigeria, what do we have? People go cap in hand to the center every month to get allocation that they squander. And at the end, they come and tell us that we were not elected to pay salaries. What we must do in Nigeria is be truthful. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Oh, restructure. Every, at every critical point in our nation's history, there's a new term that is thrown into our political lexicon. At some point, it was sacrosanct. Now it is restructure, restructure, restructure. I agree. It's been there for quite a while, the arg argument. The argument has been there, but over the past two, three days, we saw the back and forth between the vice president, the professor of law, and Alanji Atuko Abubakar, former vice president. So these two people know what they are talking about. But the truth is, we must keep it fact and evidence-based. We cannot have a society where there is inequality, where there is injustice, and expect that people will keep quiet. No! We cannot have a society that allows for people who are not who have no capacity to administer over the affairs of the majority. What are these people going to do? They are going to run the country aground. I always insist that Nigeria is blessed with abundant human and natural resources. We cannot have intelligent people in Nigeria and have people that are not fit to be class captain in a very good secondary school preside over administrative affairs. It doesn't make any sense. So then now, what we must do as Nigerians is to always look at the issues. Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, professor and pastor, senior pastor, we have listened to your argument. Alanji Atiku Abubakar, former vice president, PDP presidential aspirant, we have listened to your argument. But as Nigerians, what do we want for this country? You can, be, you can only be vice president for eight years at most. You can be a presidential aspirant and contest, 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 contest. You might win, you might not win. But the truth is, you would always remain a Nigerian. What is best for this country? Let us be true when we talk about our federal structure. Let us have states that will control their resources. Let us look at our doctrines. You know, all these exclusive concurrent residual lists, and you have governors going to collect money at the end of the month. Doesn't make any sense by my reckoning. But beyond, beyond all of that, Chukudi, beyond actually looking at our federal structures and trying to revamp them, what is the starting point in healing our historical divide that, quite frankly, is a great component, uh, component of what we're seeing First, now? First, if you do not admit that wrong is wrong, you're wasting your time. You cannot put a uh, dusting powder and lipstick on a corpse and say, wow, this is beautiful. I mean, you might take pictures and it will look beautiful, but it doesn't stop the fact that that corpse is decomposing or has decomposed. Do you understand what I'm saying? The rot, you still cannot, you know, hide the rot or the stench. What we must do is to admit that whether it is this party or that party, the political class, a majority of them, have wronged the Nigerian people. We are the main... See, surviving in the country is like walking through East Sam 23. We are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Your education, your health care, your life, your security is essentially just about you. Because it's a, it's a struggle. Why you have a few people enjoying the largesse or the dividends of democracy because of the positions they occupy? What you must do first is come out and admit, like I always advocate, we know that there are two classes of Nigerians, the political class and the suffering masses. We, the political class, a majority of us, even though we have good people, have offended the majority of Nigerians. We are going to make amends today. And how do we make amends? First, we are going to go back and do it the proper way. And how is the proper way? Allowing for equity, allowing for equality, allowing for justice, allowing for fairness in our society. You cannot beat a child and tell the child not to cry now. All right, Chukudi, since you're talking about admitting, are we going to admit now to the reports that we have that they said there's ISIS, ISIS spies, I beg your pardon, in IDP camps in Nigeria? Now, we know that when reports come like this, they're always you know, refusals, rebuttals coming out to say that this is not true, this is not the case. Is this the case so far? What has the government The truth is, this is coming from the Nigeria police force itself. And it is not something that we should joke with. What do insurgents and terrorists do? They want to undermine. They want to create problems. They want to cause confusion. Now, as Nigerians, we must know that security is everybody's business. This is not the time for Tafia. I'm a bug baby. I want to mind my business. No. Because when death comes knocking, it doesn't ask if you voted for this person or that person or what ethnic background. It takes people. Now, I must admit that in Nigeria police force, there are men and women of integrity and dignity that have even sacrificed themselves in the interest of our great country, Nigeria. 
what we must do as a people is like I always insist, support a government that is committed to ensuring that the promises that they made to the Nigerian people, they deliver on them, number one. Then number two, the Nigerian police force must focus on intelligence. This is not about six packs and muzzle. It's intelligence because these insurgents and terrorists try to be a step ahead of you. What you must do is be 10 steps ahead of them so that you can catch them. And I read the report and I'm excited about, you know, the approach of the Nigerian police force. Now, what we must do is, as a people, you know, try as much as we can to provide valuable information. And how do we do so? We can only do so if we trust them. If I don't trust the Nigerian police force, anything I see, I focus. I hang a crucifix at the entrance of my house. Before I go to bed, I anoint myself my, and my family, hoping that the divine protection will protect me. And if it's happening in front, let me be in the back. If it's in the back, let me be in the center. If it's anywhere, let me not be there at all. Now, the Nigerian police force must win back the confidence of the Nigerian people so that we can readily provide information that would help everybody in society. All right, thank you so much, Ukudi, for this extensive analysis. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.